Howdy, howdy, fellow trainers, and welcome back to another visit to Halzari region as part of the Pokemon Bliss and Oblivion project here at PTE Creative. As always, I'm your host, Evan Davies, but you have new important Pokemon to see, and you've already been teased with the thumbnail here. I hope you can get a little bit of sense of this. As announced on last week's show, we are participating in Smaugist, or... Smaugist, however you want to pronounce it. It's a fun art challenge online to draw dragons throughout the month of August. And while I can't do a full month every single day of drawings, I can certainly participate here with Pokemon Blitz and Oblivion. So it's time to meet your dragon. That's right. Dragon starter Pokemon. Right here. I'd like you all to meet this chonky little guy. It's Alachonk. He is your dragon starter. I shouldn't say he. It. It's your dragon starter as part of our start to Smaugist. Alachonk is a, a really, really fun Pokemon for me to do. A little egg-shaped little guy, just for funsies, though. Alachonk hails usually from a few different regions throughout um, a few different areas of the Halzari region. Uh, as I stated in previous episodes, the Halzari region is heavily based off of the United States, with a little bit of touches of Mexico and Canada as well. And all of my starter Pokemon, all 18 of them, as you can clearly tell by some of these different starter Pokemon, all 18 of them are based off of a state animal. Maybe it's a state bird, state mammal, state fish, whatever you may be. Here we have the state animal of Florida, I believe. This is Florida. It's one of the states. Can't remember which one. It's the alligator. So we're going to Alachonk, which is this chunky little guy right here. Now, as we go into Alachonk, here is its Pokedex entry. Alachonk is the friendly snout Pokemon. It has a total stat of 315. Far more into the defense of itself and the HP, which you can get to a little bit more in the Pokedex entry. But 55 HP, 50 stat at speed, which is kind of fun for such a rotund um, little creature to have. Attack is 45, defense 55, and a split of 50s on the special attack and defense with an average stat of 52.5. So it gets a total base stat of 315, which is higher for uh, our starter Pokemon, but it's right on, in line with many of them. And like I said, it's the dragon type starter. So it gains the ability Dragon's Maw, which really just increases the power of dragon type moves. Um, it gets that which means it completely goes in line with um, the rest of the traditional starters in the fact that it gets an ability that raises its its base type uh, attack. Now what I find really fun about Alachonk is its Pokedex entry. It's immense power, and immense power resides within this laid-back Pokemon. Alachonk is better known for its jovial waddle, then its strength in battle. Now, Alachonk, by no stretch of imagination, especially with the stats that you can see to your left, in no way, shape, or form is Alachonk a chump. It's a very worthwhile Pokemon. However, if you were to see this in our world, and you can get a better look of him right here, Alachonk is far more likely to just be your friend and chill, and when it runs, it waddles. Almost very penguin-like, but at a really high pace. It's just incredibly fun to visualize that idea because, again, he's just a friendly little alligator who's going to be your best friend. Imagine him very much so rolling on his back and snoring with the classic Psyduck bubble coming out of its nose. Imagine that with Alachonk. It's a similar style character. That's what I find so fun about creating these Pokemon is trying to bring them to life. And... Obviously, it's a simplistic design with Alachonk, which I like with all of my starters. I like to be more simplistic and tangible. I think that was a really smart decision in um, Gens 8 and 9 that they did was simplistic starters, and then getting somewhere a little bit more uh, unique and crazy with them, I think was a, a really smart move, which you see in a lot of the starters here in the Halzari region. So with Alachonk, you get such a fun idea of a really simplistic Pokemon that is just trying to be your friend, but yet when it gets into battle can definitely hold its own. And it's such a fun addition to get to this starter pack with Alachonk to be included. So now we have almost half of the types covered um, 
with our starters. Yeah, I, I usually try to make sure every, at least one starter Pokemon is in, in every single month of shots. And now you have your Dragon Starter, Alachong. So I hope you certainly enjoy this little guy as much as I do. Now, if you do enjoy Alachong, hopefully you're enjoying my artwork. And it's all done by myself. If I ever do utilize AR or AI artwork, I always put that out there. I always try not to. But if I have to use it, I always put that out there. Alachonk, all the Pokemon I create, it's all by myself. Another way to support this art that I do, if you want a piece of my art for yourself, head on over to our Etsy shop. You can go to ptecreative.etsy.com and get yourself a pizza, piece, pizza, 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 piece of merch for yourself. You can go over there and there's a ton of great Pokemon merch that is all there for you. You can get Pokemon card packs are tremendous to get yourself with some mystery packs but you can get shirts t-shirts hoodies stickers all kinds of great stuff around here um, bug catcher line i'm extremely happy with but the johto lines here the canto lines here and we're gonna have a bunch more stuff including football related stuff going into the new season more fantasy stuff even some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in the future all great merch for you to get so head on over to ptecreative.etsy.com and take care of yourself over at our Etsy shop. However, if you yourself are just in the mood for more content, that's a-okay, we understand. Just head on over to our channel and get some more content. Monday through Saturday, even though release says Monday through Friday, we now have a Saturday show that I always like to talk about last. But Monday, you get more Pokemon card pack openings. It's always fun to be inside of the community there, so Pokemon... Back openings coming your ways on Monday. Tuesday, it's the Onetta Show. It's our flagship podcast with a bunch of rotating topics. A lot of fun stuff. We're getting a crossover episode this next coming week with the Onetta Movie Show, which you'll hear about on Saturdays. And you can find that on YouTube or Spotify, just like all the rest of our podcasts. And last week, we ju- just yesterday, we did a great review of WWE SummerSlam. So you get a lot of rotational fun stuff there. Wednesday, you're already here, and you know it, and you love it. It's the Pokemon Bliss and Oblivion Project. We're getting new Pokemon every week to be added to the Halzari Fakemon region. Thursday, we are in the depths of the NFL expansion series on the Onetta Football Show. It's a great way to get ready for the NFL season. and Have some fun about America's favorite sport. So enjoy the Onetta Football Show every Thursday. And Friday, you get those rotational topics. So you get the the Onetta Adventure Show where we pick a place to travel to and give some inspiration to inspire you to get out on your own adventure. Onetta Brick Builders Show. We're building some Legos and some time-lapse content. A lot of fun there. And you might get some Pokemon card pack openings. You might get uh, Arcana pack openings or Yu-Gi-Oh card pack openings. And we got some specials coming in the next couple of months. It's going to be really fun. And like I said, on Saturdays now, we have the Onetta Movie Show. This coming Saturday, you get to see the Burbs. Or you get to hear all about the Burbs. It's a classic Tom Hanks movie. And in the future, we're fixing Batman vs. Superman the following week and we have some other really cool content coming after that so check out saturdays for a new podcast you can find it here on youtube and spotify all our podcasts are on the go on spotify if you but that is going to do it for today's show if you did like this video please give it a like comment and subscribe hit that heart hit that bell for more notifications if wherever you may be follow us on tiktok and instagram you can see some time lapse videos about how this art is actually created over on those socials so we get a little something different there and check out our etsy shop to support the art even more that is going to do it here for us folks it's been fun i'll catch you next time with another new dragon pokemon next week as part of smaugust i'll catch y'all later peace